Hello guys, how you doing? This is your friend Alex. Please watch this video from the beginning till the end so you don't miss any of the tips that I'm going to give you. On this video, I'm going to show you how to transfer all your WhatsApp data from an iPhone to an Android device. On my left, I have the Android 14 Pro. On my right, I have the OnePlus N20. Before we factory reset the phone, make sure you update Android on this one too. On this phone, we have Android 12, but sometimes there's updates or security patches or even Android 14. The first thing we need to do is we need to reset the android device so please do a backup so you don't lose any information and factory reset this device so you're going to go to settings and from here click on system settings scroll up and you're going to see backup and reset reset phone let's reset all data reset to factory settings erase data erase data erase data we are resetting the OnePlus to factory settings so we can do this transfer. We're going to use the copy apps and data feature of Android 12. So in the meantime, what we're going to do, guys, very important. You need to have the latest version of iOS on your device. So go to settings, go to general software update and make sure you have the latest. Oh, I need to update 16.4. So I'm going to download and install the 16.4 iOS 16.4 so this is gonna take me a while guys I'm running 16.4 so make sure your iPhone is updated to the latest iOS capable on your device in this case is the latest one 16.4 because this is the iPhone 14 Pro okay so now that I have the latest iOS now I need to make sure that I have the latest WhatsApp how can I know if I have the latest WhatsApp you're gonna open the App Store you're gonna look for WhatsApp and if it says open that means that you have the latest version if it said update you need to update it okay so we have the latest version of iOS we have the latest version of WhatsApp what else we need to do now we need to do a backup of whatsapp so you're gonna go to settings you're gonna go to chats chat backup and you're gonna back it up now and it's done the last backup today 49.7 megabytes okay so now that we have that whatsapp backup now we're gonna do an iCloud backup go to settings click on your Apple ID and on iCloud make sure iCloud backup is on back up this phone so I'm gonna back it up right now and why I'm doing an iCloud backup? Because on the iCloud backup, we're gonna save the WhatsApp backup, okay? That's how the iPhone works. There's no backup on Google Drive on the iPhone. Everything goes to iCloud. Make sure your backup completed successfully. In order for this to be successful, I need to see all of these messages on my Android. This is the most important one, why? Because I put a lot of stuff here. I put pictures and videos, photos. These are contacts, these are PDF files, all kinds of files. Let me open one, you know, PDF file. I have emojis, memojis. And stickers, you know, let's see if the stickers transfer. Audio messages. All right, guys. And then the other stuff is like, you know, basic text stuff, you know, nothing important. But still, you know, only when we see it, we're going to make sure that the transfer is complete. All right, guys. So now let's work on the Android. Let's work on the OnePlus N20. We're going to set it up. English. Agree. We need to connect to Wi-Fi. And the first thing is checking for updates. And this is what we need, guys. It's called Copy Apps and Data. And this is an app that is already installed on your device for devices with Android 12 and up. That's why we need to factory reset the Android so we can access this feature that it's only available if you factory reset the phone. Okay. Next, it says use your old device. Next, find your old device cable. Insert cable into your old device. And it says connecting both devices using the cable. Okay which is lighting to USB-C, guys. It's only $10 at Amazon. I'm going to put a link in the description if you want to buy it. And we're going to be able to connect both devices. So let me just close what's up. And I'm going to connect the lighting. And I'm going to connect the USB-C. Let's see what happened. Okay, now it's connected. Immediately it says charging. And now it says trust this computer. If you don't see this message on your iPhone, trust this computer, this is not going to work. So I'm going to click trust. Now it says devices are connected. I'm going to click next. It's going to check the info. It's asking us to log into our Google account. I'm going to sign into my Google account. Next. Agree. The iPhone is charging using the Android's battery. Make sure your Android device has 100% battery. Choose what to copy. 48 gigs of 81 gigs. Apps, contacts, photos, videos, messages. Since this is about WhatsApp, I'm just gonna deselect everything and I'm gonna go one by one, okay? Device settings, okay. 
notes that's fine calendar fine attachments messages videos icloud data not included it says not included so i'm not going to include it contacts of course and then here on the apps it says eight apps selected what happened if i click here it's going to allow me to select what apps i want and the first one is whatsapp messenger so click there so now you have one app selected and then you're going to click ok one app selected contacts and then the rest and then click copy and look at this guys we have the qr code it says transfer whatsapp chats scan the qr code with your iphone to open whatsapp how can i scan the qr code i'm just gonna open my camera i'm gonna put it on top and i'm gonna click on that link and it's gonna go here move chats to android transfer your chat history and media to your new android phone you will not be able to transfer later if you skip this step so i'm gonna click start and you can see the magic here guys is transferring and now it says continue on your new phone okay i need to set up some basic stuff here and accept continue setup i'm gonna continue the setup which is basically regular setup you know i'm gonna skip the google i'm gonna skip this too i'm gonna skip the password i'm gonna skip google pay no thanks and now it's saying copying your data keep devices connected and turn on i only have what 50 megabytes i'm sure you're gonna have a lot more guys so in your case it's gonna take a while my case is only 19 minutes all right guys so the transfer is done i'm gonna click done a lot of people ask me where my sim needs to be if you're transferring from an iphone to the android of course your sim card is gonna be on the iphone so my recommendation is to keep it there until the end until you finish passing all the whatsapp and data to the android then you move the sim card and then you start doing things on the android once you finish everything and you move the sim card to the android then you turn off imessage on the iphone the reason i'm saying this is because the sim card i have it on this other iphone and i'm gonna tell you why because it's a track phone so track phone you cannot switch the sim card all over you have to keep it on one phone if not you need to buy a new sim card so that's why i always keep my sim card on this iphone 6s so any notification i'm gonna get it here in your case you probably have your sim card here on the iphone just keep it there right and at the end once you finish everything then you move it and also this is an iphone 14 the us version doesn't have a sim card everything is eSIM. if you want to do this transfer contact your carrier and move your eSIM from here to there and this android needs to have eSIM also if not you're gonna have to go to your carrier and ask for a physical sim to put it here right so this is what happened when apple decided to have eSIM sim only on the us version of the iphone 14 okay guys so it says turn off imessage i'm not gonna turn it off because i need it okay i need to get that text confirmation from whatsapp okay i'm gonna click done it says getting your phone ready co-creation labs is skip disagree phone size i'm gonna keep it as is navigation style as is setup complete start reboot for carry recognition i'm gonna have to reboot this might mess up the whole thing guys i was not counting with this and there's nothing i can do there is nothing i can do this might mess up the whole thing guys hopefully not hopefully everything is on the phone and we can still do the transfer let's say we are lucky and we didn't lose that transfer you know oh look at this it says google play store completing setup hopefully we're gonna get it guys this is a good sign so click here and it says install one or 15 applications okay this is good guys so click there and here guys it says updates checking for updates 12 updates in process and one installed in process so click there and this is what i want you to cancel guys cancel everything that you don't need right now whatsapp messenger that's what we need so cancel all the rest guys because all we need is whatsapp and whatsapp is installed already so that's good i mean you saw that right okay not install let's put install but i don't see whatsapp right there so whatsapp is already installed look so we're gonna click on it and we're gonna click open welcome to whatsapp english agree and continue and then the phone number is 76753-4663. Gonna click next. Double check the number, guys. If you make a mistake here, you're never gonna get the confirmation code. They sent a text message right here. Your WhatsApp code is 791-449. And that's it. It says contacts and media, continue. Allow WhatsApp to access your contacts. Allowed, allowed. And this is beautiful, guys. I mean, I don't know how it keep it like this because we reset the phone. Usually we don't reset it. Importing chat history. If you don't see the screen, it's not gonna happen. We need permission to restore your chats. You will not be able to import later if you skip this step. So click start. It's importing all the chat history from the iPhone, guys. Import complete. Okay, next. Gonna keep my name. And I'm gonna set up really quick daily. 
to this email, including videos, and I'm done. And this is it, guys. This is the proof that this worked 100%. Because look at this. If you go here, you can see all the images, all the videos. You know, all the videos here. Images, videos, contacts, files, you know, everything got transferred for free, guys. Look at this, emojis, memojis, stickers, absolutely everything, audio files, videos, and how about the other stuff? For example, this, that little text that I already show you guys. Everything got transferred. 100% success, guys. This is beautiful. And now what I will do immediately is I'll go to settings, chats, and I will do a chat backup. Make sure what account to select and everything. Your Gmail, include videos, and then you do a backup. In that way, you're going to save the backup on Google Drive. And then once you have the backup on the Google Drive, then you can switch to any other Android device. That's the beauty of having the backup on Google Drive. In my next video, guys, I'm going to show you how to do a backup on an SD card. Okay, so don't miss it up. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on my next video. Take care.